It's getting close to strawberry time, and I'm with Laura at the Portland Nursery on Stark Street, and thank you so much for having us. Sure thing. And Laura, has she has so much information about strawberries, so why don't you start with the different types? Okay. Um, strawberries are in three categories, and the first category is June-bearing strawberries. Um, you'd get one large crop in June, and um, some of my favorite varieties include Hood, which everybody recognizes, right. very sugary, mm -hmm. sweet berries. Um, another great one is shuck stan. It's a little more jammy, and both of them are great for canning and oh. preserving. Shuck stan is a good freezing one, and um, hood is good for jams. And what's the next category? The next category would be the ever-bearing types, okay. and they will give you two crops a year. Um, your first one's in June, July, and your next one is in the fall. And one of my favorite varieties there is Quinault, and it's a nice big berry and good sweet flavor. Oh, I'm hungry already. Yeah. <laughs> um, the third category has been separated out of the Everbearings, and it's okay. called Day Neutral. Well, that's new, new term. It's a new term for us, yes. Mm -hmm. And it's one that's not, the production isn't determined by the day length as much as the others. So you get crops continually through the year. Oh. And the farmers are really enjoying this one. Um, some of their favorite varieties is fern, and it's um, a mid-sized berry, very sweet, and it holds well. So for your cereal in the morning. Exactly. And it also produces its berries on top of the foliage, so it's easy to harvest. Oh, excellent. Okay. Yes. And um, another very popular one in the day neutrals is seascape. I've heard of that. Um, huge berry, kind of more of what you would find in the store. Um, the flavor is a little, little washed out, but that can depend on your weather for ah. the year and also your soil. Can determine some of that flavor. So maybe in the home gardener they should have a couple different varieties for different time and different flavors. Exactly. So exactly. you'd always have something going on. Exactly, yes. Do you want to talk about the plants a little bit? Mm -hmm. I see these runners and what should we do as a home gardener with these? Well the first year you want to take the runners off so it gets um, the energy is concentrated in the plants. That's the main one. Mm -hmm. And the other hard thing to do the first year is to pluck off your flowers. Oh, all these beautiful ones uh, here. Yes. And what that does is, um, again, the energy gets put back into the plant, so you have much better production for about three years. Oh, okay. So you just kind of sacrifice it just to get those plants established and get the better plants, and then down the, down the road you have better fruit. Exactly. And the farmers do this on a large scale. Oh, that's amazing. Yes, yes. Could we just leave a few of the flowers on, did you think? Make sure they're good berries, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it would be horrible not to have any fruit the first year. Exactly, exactly. Um, and usually um, the you'll get fruit for a good three years, so when you're in that fourth year of production because the first year you skip you want to plant your next crop okay. so you can keep it going. Sure well that's a great tip. Yeah. Laura thanks so much for all this You're information I know you did a lot of research yeah. here you found this on the web it's from the Oregon State University mm -hmm. and um, Bernadine Strick is the berry specialist for Oregon and she just has all this information there and we have this wonderful book that you also have. Yes the Backyard Berry Book by Stella Otto and it puts things in terms we can understand. Excellent so yes. you don't have to be an expert and it just makes makes it really easy so you can have strawberries in your yard. Exactly. Well, I hope that you're intrigued about that and you'd like to plant some strawberries in your yard. Come out to Portland Nursery and pick out some strawberries or any of your independent garden centers. Thanks so much. Sure thing.